Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Cameroonian forces invade Biafra separatist camp in Bakasi. Cameroonian forces invade Biafra separatist camp in Bakasi. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Cameroonian forces have invaded the camp of separatist militants in Isangeli subdivision of Bakasi Peninsula but with no casualty. Cameroonian forces It was gathered that the invasion which took place at the weekend may not be unconnected with the attack by the Black Marine. A suspected armed wing of the Biafra Nations League BNL that reportedly killed four members of the Rapid the Intervention Battalion BIHAR about two weeks ago when they attempted to forcefully invade the camp. Sources said the Cameroonian soldiers did not meet anybody in the camp as the separatist fighters were said to have relocated, leaving items such as Biafran flags on the trees. They said the militant group moved inwards into the creek, leaving the military wondering about their position. The BNL leader of Bakasi, Itabasi, in a statement yesterday, confirmed the attack. He said, Our members are not afraid of military enforcement in Insangeli as we are fighting a genuine cause. He declined to comment if the Black Marine were working for the BNL but warned that the BNL commands large loyalists in the Gulf of Guinea. He added, we are ready to die for our cause. Meanwhile, the leader of BNL, Prince Will Richards, was in Idabato subdivision for a few days. Following reinforcements of troops, it was gathered that he sneaked in at night on Wednesday last week to engage his members. Recall that the Black Marine has been terrorizing the Gulf of Guinea and threatening Cameroonian oil companies operating in the area. Cameroonian forces have invaded the camp of separatist militants in Isangeli, subdivision of Bakasi Peninsula, but with no casualty. It was gathered that the invasion, which took place at the weekend, may not be unconnected with the attack by the Black Marine, a suspected armed wing of the Biafra Nations League BNL that reportedly killed four members of the Rapid the Intervention Battalion BIR about two weeks ago when they attempted to forcefully invade the camp. Sources said the Cameroonian soldiers did not meet anybody in the camp as the separatist fighters were said to have relocated living items such as Biafran flags on the trees.
they said the militant group moved inward into the creek, leaving the military wondering about their position. The BNL leader of Bakasi, Itabase, in a statement yesterday, confirmed the attack. He said our members are not afraid of military enforcement in Sangele as we are fighting a genuine cause. He declined to comment if the Black Marine were working for the BNL but warned that BNL commands large loyalists in the Gulf of Guinea. He added that we are ready to die for our cause. Meanwhile, the leader of BNL Prince Will Richard was in the battle subdivision for a few days. Following reinforcement of troops, it was gathered that he sneaked in at night on Wednesday last week to engage his members. Recall that the Black Marine has been terrorizing the Gulf of Guinea and threatening Cameroonian oil companies operating in the area. Cameroonian forces have invaded the camp of separatist militants in Nsangele subdivision of Bakati Peninsula but with no casualty. It was gathered that the invasion which took place at the weekend may not be unconnected with the attack by the Black Marine, a suspected armed wing of the Biafra Nations League BNL, that reportedly killed four members of the Rapid Intervention Battalion BIR about two weeks ago when they attempted to forcefully invade the camp. Sources said the Cameroonian soldiers did not meet anybody in the camp as the separatist fighters were said to have relocated, leaving items such as Biafra flag on the trees. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.